like so overall I kind of want to change that because I actually do think women protect other women more than men protect women in this Facts. instance because I do now that I think about it I do can count a couple times where I've seen women come to other women defense like right. a couple times so um you know I kind of want to like tie this in the Megan Thee Stallion thing and like I ask that because you know I ask what is protection right because like you know a lot of people have been joking about the situation even right. we had a joke or whatever but is that not protecting a woman because we joking about it? Is that like does that count as not protecting a woman? So I'm I'm one of those people. I'll joke about my own situation. It's never offensive. However, if it were to offend somebody, then I would apologize for my actions. The issue that I have with the Megan the Stallion situation, and this is just being an outsider looking in at all of the different media stuff. Um, recently, there was a there was an incident with Trey Songs, mm -hmm. and allegedly. He, he was holding women against their will. He even urinated on some women. And a few years back, Kiki Palmer, who's a well-known black child actress who we watched grow up in front of us, told us that he held her, well, that he tried to get her to Do indulge in things that she, she wasn't with. And he made some comments to her that were inappropriate. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she got a lot of interviews behind it, but it didn't really get any support. Fast forward to now, Megan Thee Stallion was just kicking it with Trey Songs, And so it's like, all right, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Now we're all supposed to come to your aid and protect you against Tory Lanez and he's canceled, but you were kicking it with someone who a black woman uh, yeah. said, you know, made her feel uncomfortable and, and, uh, and was going to sue the man. So how come you get the protection, but you didn't do any protecting? Or standing up for it or speaking out. Or you out still it. haven't spoken because out about it. Because people have taken Tori off like their songs. Like I know Kalani yeah, and Kalani JoJo. Have, and they it's say like, he's so, Right, so they're taking up for the black woman. But in that instance, you had an opportunity to do such and you didn't. And you didn't. So do y'all think we not like the media, everybody is not taking taking up for Megan Thee Stallion or we just don't believe it? And if is it something wrong with not believing it? Is, I, so there's not. You, there, we we weren't I, there and there's right. not enough. There's not enough so facts. What I feel so like, she, I feel like Megan has gotten a lot of support. I feel like yeah. she has a lot of support. Yeah. A lot of uh, media has spoken out for her. And I'm going to say this with trying to be as sensitive as possible. Me, I am one of those people. Like, I think she, I I don't agree with Megan. Like, and I do want to hear from Tory Lanez. And I do want to see more whole, the holes of this story come together. Because there's a lot of things I don't understand as a outsider myself and piecing media pieces together. You I, know what I will say nobody deserves to be no, physically harmed. No, absolutely not. However... Ever. Leading up to that physical harm, it's like it's not even that I'm saying it's justifiable or excusable for what happened to her, but you're not even taking any accountability for, for the situation. You're making Tory Lane seem like he's just a psychopath and he shot you for no reason. So let me that's ask not you, fair. Let me ask you this, right? So you said when you was molest molested, your father was like, he felt like it was some alternative motive, right? So he wanted to know. Oh, so yeah. I, so he's like, what else happened? You know what I'm saying? You didn't like that because, of course, she was the one getting molested. If she's coming out and saying, just playing devil's advocate, if she's coming out, not even devil's advocate, playing mediate, mediator, if she's coming out and say, yo, Tory Lane shot me on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that she could feel the same way? You felt like, yo, it shouldn't be no other So the only thing motive. I'll say <clears throat> about my situation, when it happened, there was never a moment of silence on my behalf. And I gave the full account of details as to how it happened. So... It wasn't a thing of, oh, um, he just landed in my bed. No, like he picked the lock to my door. You know, I tried to force the door shut. Right. It there was were, detailed. There it was, was, it was very detailed. detailed. And so it's like her hers is there's too many. If she comes out and gives the full story, which she does not owe it to anybody, then I could say, all right, I fully support her. Right now, all I can say is nobody deserves to be physically harmed. Mm. However, you know, being molested and getting shot are two totally different things. There were other people there as well. So, I mean, to her, I didn't see her best friend say he shot her for no reason. Mm. So why and, not just say that from the beginning? And my biggest thing on it too is just like, what's been annoying me is that I feel like, okay, so for when it comes to the protecting black woman feel thing, I feel like Megan came with that story from the jump. It's like, I'm not being protected and, you know, in the times of black people going through this. And I feel like she put it so heavily on that. And what I don't like for me is what I will say is for me, uh, obviously Tori is a favorite 
artists, right? But mm-hmm. I feel like it would be no different if a female of my favorite artists happened. I would be like, uh-uh, I need to know what happened. I need to know, uh-uh, what happened. And if it was Beyonce, she ain't do it. You get what mm, I'm saying? Like, that's I, a great point. Like, just real shit. Like, I'm going to want to know the rest of the story. I'm still going to pick it apart. So I don't like that everything is being associated with, oh, Protect we're not protecting women. black women. That's I feel not like, the issue and at also hand in this very instance. Unfair. <clears throat> it's very unfair to the women who are actually unprotected because this is why we're not believed because there's a lot of people who cry wolf to it or a lot of people who are just planning in situations that it doesn't really exist in like you know what I'm saying? so to me i've been very annoyed with watching a lot of people like people don't protect black women people don't protect black women because at the end of the day again for me if this was a favorite female artist of mine i'd be asking the same <clears throat> motherfucking questions i want to hear her side so f- i want to see what happened i want to know what happened but because that's the story of what she planted from the very beginning. I feel like it's just like, and I just don't think that's true. But there's mo- also <clears throat> a such thing as victimization. Yeah. There so, so for the for the for a moment of like transparency and clarity, right? We're in a relationship. We say things we don't mean to each other. Uh, and I feel like at the end of those arguments, I always say, "Yo, I don't want to be in a situation where I feel like I'm forced to do something that's outside of my character." What I'm trying to do is trying to take the accountability from you and put it on myself. Cause even though you said some things I didn't like, I still quote unquote came down to your level. What I'm going to say is just me by me being that person. Um, if he shot her, I don't give a fuck if he was joking. I don't give a fuck if mm-hmm. she was punching this man. It's, it's, not it's nothing. It's, it's no excuse to right. shoot a woman. However, no, I agree with that a hundred percent. However, I do feel like for me, like for example, you ever had a situation like, for example, yeah, we are arguing, right? And mm-hmm. we tugging by the door, and I'm like, pushing you, pushing me. Now, I'm just not saying this happened, and then the door hit me too. I'm like, you hit me with the door. Right. You know how many women do that? Like, or like, y'all, yeah. like, she'll slap you. Like, like, y'all but that's playing. not shooting that's somebody. Not, no, but. Or they could be tugging the gun in the grace heart. You shot so me. Why not? I almost feel, and this is just I've theory. seen that happen. Since, since nothing, since we, nobody knows, the, the, the gunshot wounds, I mean, theoretically, it's almost as if they were tussling for that gun and it went off because on. it's she's not shot she was grazed and at, first of all for me if you were grazed say you were grazed don't say you were shot because at the end of the day it's a difference because it could be multiple ways that that can happen right and another thing to me there is a lot of holes in the story i listened to her i'm like wait this don't even it was a couple things because that she I was found she's didn't so make sense if, if However, you shot me i'm not getting back in the car with you now the police are shooting people in the back yes but at at this point you know we're in the hills I'm a famous celebrity. I'm not, not really, but like if it were me, I'm not getting back in the car with you after you shot me. I don't give a fuck what happened. I'm out of there or I'm just going to Because my life wait. is in danger, right? And it's something, and again, like, so for, no, I'm not saying no she, violence condoned, but what I'm saying is I personally feel there's missing aspects to this story. And because I don't, I don't, I don't know her enough as an outsider and I don't, I, which I have every right to not trust her enough to know how she'll manipulate a story. Mm. And that's my, I don't personal. understand. I don't understand how she said that he shot her in her feet while she was walking away. Obviously she was out of the vehicle. I don't understand how they got pulled over and she was in, in the, the vehicle, vehicle bleeding. When they got, it's like, did you jump back in the car when the police came? And how did the police respond that quickly? Like, it just doesn't make sense to because me. Because if you, how, if I'm walking and you shot me, I'm hauling at, like, you should even shoot at my feet. I'm not I'm, running back I'm, towards even the if bullets. I'm skipping, motherfucker. I'm, I'm not going, going back out of here. The I'm direction not com- that you the might gun kill was me. fired. You literally, I'm might not kill going me. back towards the direction that the gun was I, fired. Again, a lot of it doesn't make sense to me. However, all I'm saying is, even as a fan, I just feel like you have your own discretion to view the story as you may. Like, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm not one of those people like I uh, because I do heavily do believe in protecting black women. I also am going to look at very detailed when we're also crucifying a black man. I'm sorry, because equally they're both on the, the forefront always of this. You know what I'm saying? So what about if the story is being twisted, whatever? What about nobody protecting Tori? And I'm not saying that's the case. What I'm saying is as people's looking at this as outsiders, we are OK with dissecting whatever in- information we would like to. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I do think me being fair, like, I feel like them being both artists, I would want to hear from Tori. And I would want to hear more details through the cops and all these things that were supposedly happening, whatever, because it doesn't make sense. We only hear from you. And I don't understand how, I'm not going to say she's letting them tear him apart, but I don't understand why 
she protected him in the first uh, place uh, well no i mean not even that that could just be street code whatever she must have thought she was in the streets i don't understand why she protected him until the public started attacking, attacking supposedly him. attacking her she had a lot of no she actually had a lot no, of no, no 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 i'm not gonna say attacking However, her i'm saying attacking him right because you had a lot you have a lot of supporters if you're gonna take the time out to just uh delegate with the ones who's not giving you what you want to hear you took the time so why stop now like i'll be honest it doesn't make when sense when chris brown beat rihanna up and the details came out later that she was attacking him over whatever it wasn't right but when we were when everybody was bashing chris brown rihanna was not saying to not, him nothing she was like but no she actually was like she she no she said don't do that to him like i loved this person i still love this but person. what i don't don't do that to him what i don't fuck with is as a woman and she held right? herself accountable though wait she wait, wait what did she say on the oprah show she yeah. said like she literally she, was she like did. this wasn't supposed to happen and i played my part in that and but, she nah, said so, that she forget she said that she she said that basically like attacking him is not going to heal, heal the situation she she in 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 so many words she said Leave him alone. But let's fast forward it though, like, cause this is one thing that I I'm, I felt bad about, honestly, just to be honest. She said I played my part, but she didn't say yo I was hitting him too. No, she it, it she did. She did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, all right. All right. I don't know. But so she even, said that. So how? So why was it so shocking when the? Uh, but not even just that. When it first happened, no, she did not come out and say that. That's this, what I'm this, saying. But but when it first happened, she did say though. Please stop attacking him. But like, saying please stop attacking him and saying yo I ain't gonna lie I was fucking him up right, too. I do agree with that. It's two However, different things. No, it's not. Absolutely. No, I agree with yeah. that 100%. Yeah. No, but regardless, but I also she didn't like let this man get publicly his, crucified. She, even though he did what he did, he was like, she was like, you know what? Because she knew she played her part, whether she came out and spoke about it or not, chill on him. Because yeah. I do know what I did. Okay. And it's like, even though accountability, learn to do that and say it with your words, I understand that. However, she still came to the front for like, look, y'all chill on him. Because she knew what she did. And that was evident. And I don't understand, though. It's like, you protected him. But then, it, it reminds me of those people who like, behind closed doors will tell you one thing and then when everybody else gets around they're kikiing with them laughing at you but they really want to kick it with you behind closed doors it's one of those things where it's like all right so you protected him in private but you're 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 crucifying you're crucifying him, him in public. public is it for your image and your brand or is it because that's really how you feel about the situation she also said that she was tired of him lying about it. But nobody didn't heard see, he from... He didn't say anything. Yeah, I didn't, we haven't he didn't heard, heard anything. Like, yeah, I didn't so what are we talking about him lying? Is, unless he's talking to us in so, his fucking so dream, what, on our dreams. Like, when the saying, fuck are we listening? As far as the lying part, I think they're talking about, like, his PR. I, ha I don't even I didn't see that. that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I haven't that. seen nothing from they them. All about. I hear is from her. I didn't see any PR. I didn't see any PR for Tory Lane saying that. So what are you talking about? I mean, well... We can't, like, we have things seen allegedly. We saw that kind all we see was take. allegedly. I mean, that could be a PR take. Bro, she could have, if that's the case, you could have been cleared that up then. Yeah, because nobody said it it's recently. Been, so why now? Her, I wonder why now. Why now? After she showed her feet. I feel like a and lot she, of, no, what happened, like a lot it of, happened after she went to the club and a lot of people was getting on her ass for being at the club. Not just that, that in the WAP. They were saying like the WAP video, they felt like it was a ploy to So this is a video. way to get the you know attention off of her, baby? Maybe? It was a whole lot it's of It's just like, again, I'm not condoning no violence, but again, for me, where I'm just going to type back in, if it was my favorite female artist, it would have been the same shit. Like, bitch, you don't make sense. So let me ask like, you I want to hear what Summer Walker do. Like, if it was like, I'm sorry, like I was be asking the same thing, uh, uh, because something ain't right. Same thing. So to put it as just this not protecting Megging thing, I don't fuck with that. That I do not fuck with. No violence on any woman, but I don't fuck with that because now we are making it seem like it's a man versus woman thing. And now it's creating a lot of commotion amongst a community of people who don't need that right now. That's not the good. That's not the best example for black women being unprotected. unprotected. So that's, 